Okay, so once you have chosen an image that you're going to use for your grid drawing, you're going to attach the clear the transparency with the small grid onto the drawing. So you could have something from a book or a magazine. You could also have, you pick an image from the internet um, and just attach this to your Chromebook screen. That might be nice too because you can size it so it'll you know fit exactly here, which is mine. I've lost some of the image because my grid is not big enough. So once I've got this, it's, the process is really pretty simple. I have numbers and letters that correspond on both of these, 1 through 19, A through O. And I'm just going to start. I always start at the top left corner because that's how I read uh, and work my way across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I see just a little teeny corner of her head. And the next one, I see that line continue up, then it goes across, and then curves back down about halfway through that one. Nothing left in that line. Next line, I'm going to go over to the sixth square again, and I see that curve going down like this. I also see just in the corner kind of the edge of where her hair meets her forehead, which then carries across the next one, kind of going up and across, over, down, and then this comes down and almost touches that side. So what I'm doing, this, you know, while this might be an intimidating thing to draw, just draw it, um, by using the grid, it breaks it down into just little parts. All I need to worry about is what is in that square. So I just draw what I see in that square. And obviously it's bigger over here because we are also using the grid to enlarge this proportionally. Um, but it's a great way to enlarge or add on to a drawing. Once you've drawn this out in pencil, you're going to use colored pencils to attempt to recreate the color scheme you see. So when you pick your image, make sure that you're choosing something that is an appropriate challenge for you. Like for me, I'm going to choose, because I draw a lot, I'm going to choose something pretty complicated to draw. Um, if I was less confident or experienced in drawing, I would probably choose a more simple image. Um, but, so. You choose what your challenge is. You choose your subject. I just, what I'm looking for is for you to use this technique. Remember to use your project sheets because that has your step-by-step -step directions and the rubric I will use to give you a grade. And I hope you'll have fun with it. I think grid drawing is pretty cool. So I'll see you all later. Bye.